Apple preparing their own AR VR headset. Based on patent filings, Apple has been experimenting with virtual and augmented reality technologies for nearly 20 years. Still, with virtual and augmented reality exploding in popularity with the release of AR Kit, Apple's dabbling is becoming more serious, and it's expected to launch an AR VR product in 2023. Apple is working on at least two AR projects. One is an augmented reality headset that will be released in 2023, followed by a sleeker pair of augmented reality glasses that will be released later. Rumors initially suggested that Apple's AR VR headset would be released in 2022, possibly at WWDC in June, but there are still development issues that Apple must overcome, so the AR VR headset will not be available until 2023. So let's find out about Apple's AR VR headset and how it differs from the Meta Oculus or Quest Pro. And for more Meta Quest Pro reviews, subscribe to MetaHub now. Here we begin. AR VR headset. Apple's first headset will support AR and VR capabilities, a technology known as mixed reality. Although augmented reality and virtual reality are similar technologies, their potential applications differ greatly. A fully immersive experience in a virtual world is referred to as virtual reality, whereas augmented reality is a modified view of the real world. The real world is largely set out in a VR experience to focus on an entirely virtual experience, whereas augmented reality overlays virtual elements in your real world view. A head-worn augmented reality device is Google Glass, a now largely defunct Google product, while a hand-worn virtual reality device is the Oculus and PlayStation VR. Virtual reality focuses solely on immersive content consumption because it gives the wearer the sensation of experiencing what is happening in the simulated world through visual, tactile, and audio feedback. Augmented reality does not rely on immersive content. While it is less exciting because it augments rather than replaces reality, it has a broader range of applications. It is this technology that Apple is most interested in. Apple's headset will support both AR and VR, known as mixed reality, and it has been seen in products such as Microsoft's HoloLens. Display According to rumors, the AR VR headset will have one to two displays. Two high-resolution 4K micro OLED displays with up to 3,000 pixels per inch will be available. Sony is expected to supply the display models used by Apple, though Apple may also use some Samsung OLED displays. Micro OLED displays are built directly on chip wafers rather than glass substrates, resulting in thinner, smaller, and more power efficient displays. They support pixel sizes ranging from 4 to 20 millimeters as opposed to 40 to 300 micrometers for standard OLED pixels. In addition, they have a faster microsecond response time, making them ideal for augmented reality and virtual reality applications. The AR VR headset will also have an external, standard OLED display supplied by LG Display. The standard OLED display will be a simple exterior indicator display that will not require the higher quality micro OLED technology used by the dinner display. Apple now uses pancake lenses, which enable a thin and lightweight design. Pancake lenses are more expensive than the Fresnel lens technology but result in a much thinner device. Design Apple's AR VR headset will resemble other virtual reality headsets on the market, with a design similar to the Facebook Oculus Quest virtual reality headset. Several design details have been leaked to rumors, and the information even saw a prototype, so we know what to expect. The headset will be made of fabrics and lightweight materials to ensure a comfortable fit. In addition, it has a sleek, curved visor attached to the face by a mesh material and swappable headbands, according to the description. Based on these headset description, designer Ian Zebel created the renders. A band in the back, similar to an Apple Watch band, will keep the headset on the wearer's head, where a soft mesh will keep the fit comfortable against the front of the face. One headband allegedly includes spatial audio technology similar to the AirPods Pro for a surround sound experience. At the same time, another allegedly provides additional battery life while on the go. The headset would also respond to the wearer's eye movements and hand gestures, and one prototype included a physical dial on the side of the visor. Iris Scanning Iris scanning will be similar to Face ID and Touch ID on the iPhone, iPad, and Mac. In addition, it may allow two people to use the same headset simultaneously, a feature not available on competing headsets such as Meta's new Quest Pro. Cameras more than a dozen optical cameras will be used in the headset to track hand movements, map the environment, and project visual experiences. Lifelike avatars with accurate facial features captured by the included cameras are said to be one of the handout's standout features. 
According to reports, eight camera modules will be used for see-through augmented reality experiences for the user, while the remaining six will be used for innovative biometrics. In addition, one camera will be available for environmental detection. A set of eye-detecting cameras will supposedly allow users to read small type and see other people standing in front of and behind virtual objects. In addition, the headset can accurately map the surfaces, edges, and dimensions of rooms. Processors The ARVR headset will include two Mac-level M2 processors for unprecedented computing power in a wearable device, with Apple using the same chips that debuted in the MacBook Air. Due to the powerful chips, Apple will reportedly use a 96-watt power adapter to charge the headset. There will be a main high-end processor and a lower-end processor for managing the designer's sensor-related aspects. One of these chips could be a 4 nanometer TSMC technology and the other could be 5 nanometer TSMC technology. The headset's processing power will not depend on an iPhone or a Mac. It will have independent power and storage. Control methods. Apple is experimenting with various inputs for the AR VR headset, such as hand gestures, eye tracking, and input from a wearable device connected to the headset. An advanced eye tracking system is said to provide an intuitive visual display that seamlessly interacts with the external environment and control via eye movements. In addition, the eye tracking system will include iris recognition, which could be used as an authentication method. The headset will include four external 3D sensing modules for detecting hand gestures and nearby objects via spatial detection, voice control, and Siri support. It will also detect skin and possibly monitor expression. Apple is developing various control methods, including a thimble-like device that can be worn on a person's finger. XROS Operating System The software on Apple's AR VR headset will be called XROS, standing for Extended Reality Operating System. Extended reality refers to the headset support for both augmented and virtual reality functions. Internally, Apple sources confirm the name, and Apple has been trademarking XROS through a hidden shell company. When it was in development, Apple called the headset software Reality OS or ROS, but as the launch date approached, the company decided to change the public name to the less generic XROS. Pricing and release date. The headset's price could start around $3,000, making it significantly more expensive than an iPhone. But to begin with, it will not be aimed at general consumers, but rather as a device for developers, content creators, and professionals. Apple was rumored to be targeting WWDC 2022 as the unveiling date for the AR VR headset, but due to some issues, it now appears the headset will be released by late 2022, with 2023 being even more likely. Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo believes the headset will be announced in January 2023. Let us know your views about the Apple AR VR headset and how it will be a game changer. And if you need to see our review of the Pico 4, MetaQuest Pro, and other VR headsets, subscribe now or else you will miss out on more.